Greetings and welcome back to Smartwatch Ticks. Whoa, I didn't look at the back of this one. Look at that. <laughs> Even the box is getting fancy these days. We are about to unbox yet another. I mean, uh, we are about to unbox an amazing, never before seen. All right. It's a sports watch. What can I say? They're the rage right now, and they're all different kinds, colors, sizes, shapes, and features. And this one happens to be 1015. That's not the time. That's the name of the company, and it's called the F1. Hmm. A lot of similar names and numbers, huh? Okay, let's take a look at it. We open it up, bring it out of the box. It's got that TPU band with holes in it. I guess after all the research and feedback, they've decided that the best thing for sports and sweating is a stretchy TPU band that breathes. And this one, it's right there. The back looks nice and smooth with no holes in it for sweat getting in. You've got a button, a camera, a USB charging port, it looks like. Yep, so mm, there we go. You charge it directly, plugging into the watch so you can take your charger with you, and you cover it up. I wonder about waterproofness, though, with something like that. It doesn't look like that good of a seal, so water-resistant, maybe. On this side, it looks like you've got a, a button to push to insert something, a SIM, a, a, TP, T, a TF card, a micro SD. we'll see. And... um. Yeah, that's about it. I don't see speaker, micro... Oh, yeah, there's a speaker over there, and microphone's hiding somewhere on here, I'm sure. We'll take the cover off and get ready to turn it on after... Let's talk about it first. They always love us to talk about it early on, that you can get this from GearBest, our sponsor for this particular F1 watch. And it's available through the link in the show notes down below. And if we have a coupon available, it will be there for you as well. Inside the F1... It's a standard MTK2503, which is what we see on a lot of the dual mode watches. And um, this may be that too. We have a RAM and ROM complement on here, but it does accept a TF card up to 64 gigabytes. Interesting. Wireless connectivity, frequencies for GSM, um, GPS, yes. Bluetooth, yes. So it's a pretty sophisticated little watch. Uh, 240 by 240, 1.3 inch screen with a tiny camera in it. Not going to get revolutionary pictures, but it does shoot photos. Um, the SIM card slots there and the TF card and so forth. You have all these different languages and additional features of 2G, Bluetooth and so forth. Uh, heart rate measurement and pedometer and sleep monitoring. So a typical uh, fitness based smartwatch which we pull out the manual looks like this we'll do it one page at a time how's that give you a start on it there you go well all right we can do two and there's the first page uh lots of color pictures oh look at the lower right it's got that whole fancy fitness section in it that we're seeing kind of as a, a drop-in module is showing up in many of the different watches there's the QR code you're going to want to scan for doing tethering with this watch. And uh, some more of the displays of what the app looks like. Okay, and finally, in the box, in addition, we've got a screen protector. If you're inclined to put one of those things on, it's got a slightly raised bezel on it. So that would probably fit right in there nicely if you like that. And, of course, the USB charging uh, connector that you put on uh, on the watch directly. Now, we'll charge it up and turn it on. See what we've got. Well, with one button, it's not too hard to figure out what we need to push to get this thing activated. It just vibrated in my hands. The screen lit up a little bit. Now it's going through its boot up process. Notice the bezel. It's kind of adopted that KW88 appearance where you have uh, some design around the bezel with uh, the numbers at the various stopping points. And there's our first watch face. Oh, where do you want to go? Let's slide down. We get this panel that looks like a variety of things we've seen, including that's going to be our brightness. So I can now set the brightness probably at that level for the video. Oh, we have a compass built in. Let's turn it like this. 
And there we go. Now north is always at me. I like to sit at the north, looking to the south. Sharp, fast. Now contrast this compass with some of the others that we've seen. And this one is really, really good. All of them I test in this way, sitting here with no other things around it. And some of them, um, you can tell the compass is just cattywampus. It's all over the place. But this one, very good once you got it calibrated. There's a stopwatch built into it. Barometric pressure. Oh, and it just landed on it, it looks like. And then the heart rate, which it's got the heart rate diode. Want to play with it? Let's check it. It says it's testing. And... It's, of course, supposed to be on my wrist, but I have it on my finger, which also has capillaries in it. Lucky me. And it should get that uh, diode reflectivity. You guys know how it works, right? It's uh, those green diodes are shooting light into your finger, and it's reflecting back into a sensor, and it looks for changes in intensity of that light. Uh, based on the blood that's actually come from your arteries down into your capillaries and oozing through. Now, I'm going to take my finger off and see what happens as it says 80. And the diode's still flashing. And it's still reading. And I just do this because I don't want to make a judgment about how accurate these are. I'm just going to show you how they work. I've given up on that because they're all different. They're all unique. Some of them say error. Some of them stop. Some of them just keep reading and shining the light. And this one's like that. Alrighty, jumping all over the place. And I've heard back from vendors that say, yeah, 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 it's measuring cattywampus. I like that word. It's all over, but when you touch it again and it starts reading your actual capillary response, it's going to give you an accurate reading. Now you saw it was all the way up to 100 something or other. And I'm holding back on here, and it may take up to 15, 20 seconds to normalize. It was at 80 when I um, took my finger off. Um, and I am hyped up on coffee right now. Can you tell? Can you tell? Oh, Mrs. Tix loves it when I do my videos instead of telling her about my day. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> all right, it looks like it's coming back. So who's to know? Who's to know? Anyway, there you go. That's the heart rate stuff. Can I slide out of it? Not really. Oh, click to end. And then you can go into your history. Wow, look, it said a high of 101, a low of 76, and an average of 86. So while it's running, you're collecting average data as well. Nice. Here is your sleep monitoring, how much deep and light sleep you had, and uh, your total step count, of which are five, from the desk to here. When I go this way, I get into all these different modes of walking, cycling, running, history. Do I sound like I've done this before? I go here and I get all of the main menu information that goes down to everything, including the settings. Where did they go? Oh, look at that. World clock. I don't think I've seen that before. Wow! There's the time in Beijing. If this were set correctly to my time, it probably would be accurate there. Interesting. Have we done that? I don't remember a world time with a map and everything. Well, that's a nice new feature. Okay, all over the place. Look at that. Anchorage, Polynesia, Easter Island. Wow, <laughs> okay. Um, calculator, calendar, alarm. Sound recorder, video recorder, video player. A video recorder? Really? Smartwatch. Okay. Got to try it. Just got to try it. Oh, we need a memory card. That's right. We've seen this before on watches like this. You can't do any of the functions unless you put in a memory card. But at least you can see what the camera looks like. Hello. Hello. Okay. Yeah. Um, and that's there. And we got to that by going here and then hitting there. And I want to get down to where I can show you. The scrolling is weird. App download, that's probably the tethering app. The overall camera, we saw the world clock. I don't see settings, do you? Oh, there it is, sorry, I went past it. Uh, you can set your home city, interesting, okay. I hate to go back that way because I'll lose everything, settings. Clock and sound and volume. Display, I'm gonna try to change this to be higher while we're doing this, let's say 60 seconds. 
and you got your brightness, of course, there. International shows you the languages, and if I auto sync off, I can show you uh, the various uh, languages that are supported with this watch. I do have a, a lot of viewers from all over the place. Dutch! Hey, the guy out there always asking me, does the watch do Dutch? This one does. They've heard you. They've heard you. Dutch is on here, but there's no Chinese. So this is, a, I guess, a special international version of this or something. I'm going to go back to on where it'll automatically sync to English on my phone when I tether the thing. Motion. This is wake up gesture to uh, turn your wrist and have it turn on. And then reset flight mode. And about. There we go. There about. So if you've got an F1, here's your information. And down here is your version. 2017, December 27th is the latest that we've got on here. So you can check your firmware against this. Okay, that's what happened when we went that way. We went that way. And now when we go this way, Bluetooth isn't connected, but if it were, this is where you'd get your notifications pushed to the watch. And going up is looping down all the way around this way. And that, folks, is what this watch does. Here you got the QR code that you're going to need to scan. You can scan that and go ahead and download the app right now if you'd like and check it out. And uh, Bluetooth that you're going to need to turn on and off and your brightness and uh, sound vibration only or uh, silent. I think that's silent. That's just vibration, and that's full sound. Okay, so once again, what are we looking at? This is called the F1, the 1015 F1 to be exact, and it's coming to us from GearBest. You can pick it up right now. Check the show notes, and we'll see you again real soon. Thanks for watching. Smartwatch Ticks. Psst. Hey, you want to see the other watch faces? One. Two, three. Cool, huh?